Jonathan Edward Cross, or Johnny Clockworks, as he's known professionally, surrounds himself with his work. <laughs> now she's not super heavy, but you can see gravity plays the total like. Hey. <laughs> I play with dolls for a living. No, uh, but yes. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a puppeteer, an uh, arts educator is what I like to say. Puppetry tugged at Jonathan's heartstrings at a young age. First grade, Master Cola Elementary School, <laughs> Merrimack, New Hampshire. Paper, ba uh, paper plate puppet show of the three bears. It was my first performance of anything. He was off and running from there eventually starting the Cosmic Bicycle Theater, which ran for 33 years, opening a theater in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and then one out in Brooklyn. Puppetry is one of those art forms that is simultaneously never there, and yet is always there. People always think of it as the terms of a revival. Puppetry is, is coming back, you'll hear. Or, oh, there's puppetry's in again. But it never really leaves the Art of puppetry really relies on the imagination, not only of the puppeteer creating it, but the audience who also lends it and brings it to life. They gift that puppet with life by the way they glance at it or watch it. After 25 years performing with everything from marionettes to shadow puppets in New York City, Jonathan decided it was time to come back to his Granite State roots. I'm 11th generation, no Hampshire, right? This is a lot of my ancestry. This is my direct ancestor. This is my great-great-grandfather, Joseph Cross, who served in the Civil War. His conquered home, now a workshop and museum of puppet shows he's performed in the past, artifacts he's collected along the way, and personalities he's crafted. <laughs> I don't collect everything, but there's a lot of stuff. You do need stuff to make theater with, uh, puppet theater in particular. He was even kind enough to introduce us to some of his friends, like Baby June. This is Mr. Scratch, uh, the Demon King. He's part of the Netherworld, a morality vaudeville, and that's where Baby June is his co-star in that show. Uh, this is Daddy Longlegs. This is Lefty and Gumshoe. There are a couple of hams. Now, this is the Bunraku puppet that was from the Nora show, Little Broken Hearts. His new adventure, the b Scap Puppet Theater, plans to highlight the best that puppetry has to offer. I will say there's nothing worse for puppet theater than a bad puppet show, because you see a bad puppet show or two and nobody wants to see another puppet show again. One of the goals of the Bees Keep Puppet Theater, which is my new project here in Concord, here in New Hampshire, is to not only do some of those productions that I, that I lean towards, the avant-garde experimental works, but also to do traditional works that the first time around people didn't see me create. He also wants to teach the next generation of puppeteers, setting up shop at Concord Community Music School. <laughs> so, we, I'm going to look for another box over there with some tissue paper in it, but we are now going to put on our layer of base color for whatever you want the color of your, as she said, the skin or for cat fur, unless it's going to be one of those sphinx cats that doesn't have fur on it. Or it, my cat could be a music cat. Before this paper mache puppet course, Jonathan and the kids created and performed a shadow puppet play. She's on the back to chase the fly. And 
band has big plans for these junior puppet masters. We're making them come to life. I mean, they should be happy. We're making them. The wonderful thing about, like with all arts, is to bring out the individual artist. So to give them the skills to build theater in miniature or to build their first marionette or make a mask, it's, yeah, it's empowering to be given those art skills and to know that they can create it themselves. I've always enjoyed, and, and I think many of us enjoy, theater and the dramatic arts. And, and for us, puppetry brings together music and how it's naturally interconnected with the other forms of arts, visual arts, performing arts, all of these things together. So it's, it's, it's something that's closely related to many things that we do here at the school and also in the cultural community of Concord. I wanted to uh, get back so that some kid who is like myself, who loves the arts, would be able to have some training with puppetry that I didn't have as a kid and can go further if they should decide to go to New York. And I'm founding a professional company so that should some of those kids want to stay here and still be artistic and be in a theater company, that they can do it here in New Hampshire. One thing is for sure, this is not Johnny Clockwork's final bow. It's the beginning of a new act.